Hi there, I'm Vicky. Welcome to my channel. Today I have a review of Extraordinary Things to Cut Out and Collage by Maria Rivens or Rivens. I don't know how to pronounce that. R I V A N S. Over 1500 images. And I have been working with collages for the last few weeks and loving what I can get from this book. So it's been well loved. Bits have been torn out of it and used, and I'll show you what I used them for in a minute. And I thought before I completely destroy the book, I will let you see the pages that are in it and how this works. It's one of the best books on collage I have ever, ever seen, hands down. So it's from Lawrence King Publishing. So there's a lot of images that you can use like surreal collage in here. Can you see that this is the same image? This was in the back of the book. And this is from the pinup series. And everything that you see here has been created entirely from the book. You don't need any other things. It's your one-stop shop for being a surreal collage artist. It's really brilliant. I love it. So this is a lot of fun. This was in the back. This comes from the pinup series. And in the back, there are a whole host of other pinups as well. Marilyn, a few other icons from the movie industry. And all of these images are copyright free so you can use them however you want and sell your art if you make art using collage. So there's a great introduction that goes into a lot of detail about the history of collage, some very famous collage artists and then this page and I've just torn out the size of this page here so you can see what it is. This is the introduction to tools and materials and this is fabulous. Just this reference in itself is really really helpful. It goes through everything you will need to use this book to create completed finished collages in one sitting. You can see how beautiful these images are. The thing I really like about these images, if I bring it up close, you'll be able to see that there's not a pure white line on the outside. It has sort of a buff colored line, which is really, really helpful because getting really close to the line, you don't want a really bright white part remaining so that buff gives you a little bit of leeway especially if you're working on really nice paper the paper that she recommends that she uses quite a bit is this cardi paper it's absolutely gorgeous it's made from 100 percent cotton recycled rags it's absolutely beautiful comes with a deckled edge and it's ready to go you can also use watercolour paper and this is one of the collages I put together from images in this book. So this is one of my original works created with images from the book. So I'm just giving you some examples of what I've created and I've been creating quite a bit. So I'll show you those as we go through. Now here this is the materials that you will need. Scissors, a craft knife, a cutting mat, glue, a roller, a ruler, tweezers, brushes, adhesive putty, pencil and razor, coloured pencils, magnifying glass or lens. <laughs> I found that very helpful, I must say. I did have my magnifying glass out looking at things. Heavy weighted paper, so that was like something like the cardi paper or the cotton paper or um, watercolour paper. Linen or canvas covered panels. You could use either wood panels such as MDF any kind of card, ready-made stretch canvases, vintage book covers. So this page is incredibly useful. And in fact, this is my suggestion to you if you buy this book and you don't know how to really use collage materials. You can actually use this and follow it along. Everything you need to create this picture here is in this book. So it takes you through step by step how to cut them out, how to layer things, how to attach things with adhesive putty while you're getting things in place. It goes step by step how to complete and build this entire collage. And you can see how each piece shows you exactly how she has made that collage. And so I completed her instructions and Look how cool this is. Now this is her design, but I have completed it using all the elements in the book. Isn't it fabulous? 
So I was so thrilled. And this was my learning exercise to learn how to do this correctly, which then helped me move on to my pumpkin soup collage, which was my own invention. Now, if you're not a surrealist collage artist, you can come and do things like this. This is a really simple, very conventional collage using this image from out of the book with a piece of gel printed watercolor paper under it. Just those two simple elements created a beautiful collage. I really like this collage too. So let's have a look quickly through the book and see what else is in here. So we've got some things like this giant cat and this cat here is Catzilla. So it's a really funny one. There's that BAM that I used from this paper here. BAM, BAM. Um, Aeroplanes, uh, little houses, policemen, little mouse. The cat has actually squashed an aeroplane. So it's like Godzilla, only Catzilla. And that's a really fun one too. And that's one I'd like to try and make as well. I think that's a lot of fun. Okay, you've got a lot of other pages here and I'm going to go through them really as quickly as I can so that this video isn't too long, just so that you get an idea of what these gorgeous images are like. It's, it's as though every single image you would ever need to make incredible collages is in here. So on the front, it says it has over 1,500 images on the front, and that's exactly what we see. A lot of vintage stuff, which is cool. A lot of very masculine images. So if there are any men who are watching this who like doing really blokey kind of collages, then this is ideal. Anybody who's interested in vintage, this is ideal. Anybody who's interested in making just some realistic looking images as well, like the plants and the animals. Look at this crazy dog. Cats, houses, one of the houses was, or two of the houses here I used in that first collage that I showed you. And the paper is a really lovely quality. Uh, and you can photocopy these if you don't want to cut up your book, you can just photocopy them and then you keep the book intact. However, I just went ahead with my scissors and had a grand old time cutting out pieces here and there and creating some really, really fun stuff. Look at these shrooms, how cool are they? Another page of shrooms. Walruses, unusual animals. Heads of animals, you know, you could set up a whole collage of just trophies, animal trophy heads. Things like this where you can place things onto a branch. It's just absolutely delightful. Look at these birds, how good are they? Now I hope I'm not going too fast for you here, but there are a lot of images for me to get through and. I'm going to show you just a final image at the end that I have actually made and put in a frame because I am so proud of it and it couldn't have been easier. It was a really, really simple piece, but I'll get to that in a second. Things like these feathers or butterflies, things where you've got repetitive images, these are really helpful too. I actually really like these for a different version of collage, which I do where I use a lot of repeating patterns. And in fact, Maria has used those repeating patterns. I'll just go back like this. In her example image here, these are actually the bracelet of this little hand here is made from the bodies of beetles with the legs cut off. So that is really fun, but that's where these repetitive images are useful. And then we have these pages where you have a whole page similar to the cat that I showed you, where you have a whole image. I can imagine this would be great fun having unusual things jumping out of this fishbowl. I think that'd be enormously fun. And things like this gorgeous skull against the pink, pink background. You can see I've torn some things out here. Vintage postcards, they're gorgeous. This piece is another fun one that's in the very front of the book. And I'll just show you what that one looks like. I thought it was really fun. Sky Ranch Motel. So this is this picture here. And all of these images have been laid on top. So it's sort of like men have come down from the moon and they've landed in the desert and they've set up a motel. It's very bizarre. And then there's all these crystals or emeralds or whatever they are coming out of the bathtub and so she shows a little bit about how she embedded things into the image here as well but there are more pages over here beautiful old famous paintings that you can use and there's elizabeth and all the icons in the back 
So I wanted to show you one of the icons that I created with this book that I actually ended up putting in a frame. I was so proud of her. So this is Rita Hayworth. And if I can move that just up a little bit, you should be able to see the whole frame. I just popped her into a frame. So this image here is not in the book. This is just a photocopied image of a guy, Mia Lily. And I've got two copies of it and I flipped one to the top and the other to the bottom. And I just love that. I think it's really fun, really cute. And I have that sitting in my office and I love looking at it. I just think it's, it was, didn't take me very much time at all. So it was a lot of fun. So grab yourself a copy of Extraordinary Things to Cut Out and Collage. It's definitely worth the price. I purchased this from a gallery in Gaimea called The Lonely Coat and it was um, a very reasonably priced book considering the amount of materials that are in there. It's published by Lawrence King Publishing. So have a look at that. You can buy it from The Lonely Coat in Gaimea if you live in Australia. So I hope you enjoyed that. I'm going to go and cut a few more things out. I'll see you later. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.